<laughs> Pretty violent head shake. Is it a flatty? It's a flatty. Well, an extremely hectic start to today's day. Before I even start talking, let's just get the elephant out of the room. Yes, I went to the beach. I just got back from Florida yesterday. I decided to take that day to get some unpacking done. And yeah, the elephant in the room, I uh, I got burnt. It's no surprise there. Um, yeah, I did get burnt pretty bad. Funny enough, it's actually hotter here in North Carolina than it is down in Florida. Anyway, today we are going back to the Noose River. You guys know I've been chasing flatheads now for almost a year and I have caught zero. I might have had one bite of a flathead back at the Hall River, but today we're going to the noose. Um, yeah, I'm still searching for a flathead pretty much a year later. It's just absolutely insane how long it's been and how long I've been trying to catch these fish. For those of you who don't know, where I live, flathead catfish are not common at all. They're incredibly uncommon. I wouldn't call them rare because they're not rare. They're just uncommon. You have to go either way out east or way out west to catch flatheads in this area and being right in the smack dab of middle of North Carolina. It can be difficult, but they are there. So today we're gonna be going to the Noose River here in the evening slash afternoon. Right now, my goal is to catch some bait. Unfortunately, I can't keep any live bait because I don't have an air raid or anything like that. And since it's so hot out, it's about 84 degrees. They're not gonna survive. The pond is absolutely insane. So yeah, we're gonna head to the pond now. Uh, we might catch some golden shiners, mostly bluegill on some bread. And then we're gonna go to the Noose River in the afternoon. I'm trying to spend as much time as possible just fishing and uh, and seeing some footage and hopefully catching a flathead. You guys will be seeing footage of the Florida fishing though, by the way, uh, not in this video, but probably in my next video. And uh, yeah, don't make fun of me for being sunburnt too much. So let's get out there, let's go catch some bait fish and hopefully we'll catch a river monster later this evening. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, grab this, grab that. Dude, chill out with these bees, bro. Oh my god! Did you guys see that? I have never seen that before. That was like a that would literally look like a golden shiner that jumped out of the water. Like for what maybe he was getting chased by a bass. Oh I got one. Okay, I had one. I'm seriously struggling to catch a bluegill. For some reason this spot is super inactive right now. I'm just gonna switch ponds completely already. I'm not gonna waste any time. Well, my car won't start. <laughs> um, I'm laughing, but on the inside I'm crying. Uh, yeah, for some reason my car literally won't start. Um, I had my brother come pick me up, and so now I'm at this pond. Uh, this has already been an absolutely hectic start. I'm hoping that there's gonna be some bluegill here. I'm seeing some freaking geese already. This is not looking good, guys, at all. Well, folks, in case you're wondering why I'm in a different car right now, Ah, uh, oh man, this has just been such a, such a crazy day. Essentially what happened was, uh, AAA came, uh, put my keys in the car, and my car started. It just started completely fine. Unfortunately, I didn't record my car not starting, so I guess I don't have any proof. But believe me, my car literally would not start. I tried for about 30 minutes or so, I tried to resolve the solution. What happened was AAA came, they said that the car... Uh, I put the keys in, the car was running fine. I drove the car back home and then took my mother's car to the pond in which I'm now back catching bait. I literally left all this stuff here and no one took it, thank God. We've got, a, we've got like 10 bait fish right now, maybe 12. we got to get about 20, 25 and we'll be fine. Yo. Yo, what's up? Yo, tell me, hold on. Tell me. More or less. Uh, there's uh, more under. There's more can... under it. There's like a whole layer under that. Oh. Okay. Can you show me? Like, can you like dig underneath so I can see? I mean, they're kind of still alive, but yeah. No, I got. I got about that much. I got about 17 or so. More. Uh, well, get as many more as you can, I guess. Like, try to get at least 20. Okay. So I'm yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get like five more or so. All right. Yeah, All right. Just do that. Get as many as you can. All right. Sounds good. All right. Uh, I'll hit you up. Oh, and by the way, make sure you bring like a uh, like a headlamp or something. Oh yeah, definitely. You have I, one I of those, right? I, I like a nice like camping lantern that I can bring too. Okay. So yeah, that'll help. Yeah, just bring any sort of lighting source you have. I'm sure we'll bring drinks and stuff, All and right. should be a good time. Sounds good, man. All right. See you soon. See you soon. 
All right, so I actually just picked up my last bluegill. I'm not sure how much I have. Um, Luke said to get about 25 or so, and that's what I was thinking as well. So I'm not sure how much I have, but this video has kind of just been already off to an absolute hectic start. A lot of a lot of stuff has been going on. Stay tuned, please, because uh, it's just getting started, and uh, uh, and now the real fun begins. We're gonna head to the river here in a few hours, uh, right around sundown, and we're gonna hope to catch a river monster. So uh, yeah, the day's just getting started. Hopefully you guys stay tuned. Grab your popcorn, grab your snacks, and let's see if I can catch my first flathead. Um, well, let's see what happens. I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, expectations are low, so hopefully I can be surprised. Stay tuned and let's go to the river. Well, folks, you've made it to the river. L Luke has joined us today. Um, Eastern Angling, link in the description. And yeah, there is some traffic here with us today, as you can see in the background. Um, I knew it. The problem is the fact that the park is now open. The park wasn't open all summer last summer, so we would always come out and we would like bootleg it. We would go under like some fence and it'd be super bootleg but uh it's looking pretty good right now it's looking fairly deep the water is flowing properly we've got some bluegill uh it looks good it looks good like i said there is some traffic here so my i'm trying to get over to where that waterfall is but i don't want to you know cause any disturbance i don't want to fish while they're fishing so i'm hoping that they leave by the night and uh, that I can get over there, but uh, if not, we're gonna have to fish this little pocket. Maybe there'll still be some flathead here, I'm not sure. So, I'm gonna get a GoPro on my chest, and now it's when the fun starts. So, uh, yeah, get your popcorn and stay tuned. That's gotta be a boat. Okay, this is a catfish, isn't it? I swear to God, if I have a cat there. I think I'm both in the gym. Cool. God dang it. Are you serious? Here we go. First fish of the day. Little channel cat. Not what we're after, but hey. It's a start, you know? We gotta start somewhere. You know, I will gladly sit here and watch Luke pull in 700 bowfin uh, and have me catch one decent sized flathead. I would gladly do that. Yo, we got a fish. Fish, fish, fish. Hurry up. Yo, get out of there. Get I can't there. do what the Yo, f*** dude, is he doing? Pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay. Pull up. He's, he's got a big okay, fish. Okay, okay. Hurry up. Like a, like Hurry a, up. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a big, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. He got a big, big fish, dude. But, uh, I think it's just a little while. True. This near him. That's a good fish, though. Man. What is it? That's a I think it's tiny. Is that a Oh, it's a catfish. Yuck. Yo, he was partying so much harder than I thought. What is it? It is indeed a tuna catfish. It's it's tiny. Oh my, oh, it's a boat fin. Hold on. Ah. Is that a, no, it's a freaking catfish. Oh, it just came off, it just came off. Right. Dude, it's a flathead. It just came off, it just came off. No, it didn't. Go, get up, go. It just, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, I thought, oh, it was wrapped around his tail. All right, so this is the camera that you, this is the uh, angle that you guys are going to be using right here. So uh, my brother just caught a flathead before me. Keep in mind, I've been fishing for flathead uh, for like a year now. It, I think it's a bowfin. Oh, open your bail if you have to. It's live bait too. I'm not going to open my bail because my line's going to go downstream. Feels like a bowfin. It's a small live shiner. It feels like. I'm gonna wait. It's a bowfin. 100% it's a bowfin. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for it. Fish. Fish. But I think it's a bowfin. Bowfin. I think. No catfish. Channel cat. Channel cat. It's a big one though. Ah, uh, that's a huge channel cat, honestly. That's a big channel cat. Oh Get here. Oh my goodness, look at how huge that guy is. <sighs> look at that channel cat. Jesus.